Hey everyone, welcome back to another Gazebo Chat. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see me a lot better now. Um, I decided since with the last video the light on my camera was too bright to be shining at my face. It's um... I believe it's actually an LED light, so it kind of hurt my eyes and I decided to just stop recording that session and to uh, start over the typical way. But now I rearranged myself in the gazebo once again and I have the light in, sort of in, a, in front of me, kind of off to the side so it'll actually light me up instead of just being behind me. So I'm enjoying another Milan tobacconist tobacco. It's another aromatic in my Boswell pipe. It's called Black Gold, and um, the description from their website is a mellow mixture of Cavendish and Burley. It's soft burning and smoothly satisfying. And um, I don't know if you can tell by, um, I don't know if you can see the smoke as well as usual, but, uh, the, um, the wind isn't blowing as hard today, which is nice, because usually it blows all of the scent away, and I have trouble, I have trouble smelling this tobacco. There's a slight breeze, but um, it's definitely not as strong as usual. So, with the description, obviously there's no um, distinct, you know, um, like artificial flavoring or, or natural flavoring that they added um, to make it like a chocolate or a berry or something like that. I think this arrow is just meant to be a neutral, nice smelling tobacco that isn't very pungent or um, aggressive, I guess you could say, to the uh, non-pipe smoker. It is mild. Um, they say slow burning, and I can definitely see that. It's, um, I think, a little bit heavier than some of the other tobaccos I've had. Um, heavier as in like slightly thicker um, shreds of tobacco. And um, it is a very smooth uh, tobacco. I haven't smoked my Boswell pipe in a little while, so it's nice to get back to it. Being my, my original pipe. And actually my most expensive pipe. But I have no problem with that because it's not from a place that really puts out a ton of pipes. It's from Boswell's and it's just a little shop. Um, I guess they do sell stuff online, but it's kind of call in and place an order. No automated um, purchasing on their site. And um, I only go to their shop. I haven't bought anything from their website. Now, if you're following me on Twitter, you'll know, to, you'll know that I've... Uh, been trying to set up a website on WordPress, I believe it's called, a blog slash website uh, where I'll hopefully post videos here, or not videos, um, blogs here and there about possibly reviews of my tobacco or just how I'm doing with this new hobby of mine, as well as having just a normal website with information aspect to it where I have a uh, biography, well, not really a biography, but just a short bio of uh, who I am, how I started, what I consider myself as a pipe smoker. And um, a little more information on a club that I've been trying to set up. Uh, I haven't had very much luck, but that's because 
personally, I haven't met very many pipe smokers, and um, it's typically all you guys online that I've been talking to, and um, it's kind of hard to get a club together when you don't know people in person who are actually in your local area. Uh, but we'd be meeting at Boswell's in their smoking lounge at a undetermined time as of right now. I guess once I get enough people, the um, real point would be to uh, see when the most people are available to join to uh, do it. And I'm thinking weekends would probably be the best since I wouldn't have class. Although I'm on campus right now, I'm moving off campus next semester into a townhouse. And I'm hoping I'll get a car by then, so I'll actually be able to drive to Boswell's. Right now, I'm kind of depending on when I go to my friend's place and when he wants to drive to uh, the next town over. It's about a 20-minute drive from campus, 20, 25 minutes to uh, Chambersburg, where Boswell's is. And uh, other than the website, um, I'm not really going to tell you any you know, URL or anything because I'm still trying to negotiate with a friend uh, for financing the domain and web space and you know, all that stuff. But I'm, I'm hoping that once it gets up, um, people who you know, are in support of the online pipe smoking community will also um, help out because since I'm a college student, I really don't have very much money I can put out. Um, for things, just anything in general. I mean, I've put some money out towards this hobby, but other than that, I honestly haven't been spending any money at all other than the occasional maybe going out to dinner with my aunt and uncle or something. Um, I've been saving all my cash. I have a meal plan on campus so I don't have to pay for meals then. When I go to my aunt and uncle's, we typically make meals, so I don't have to really pay for anything on campus and um, when, even when I'm off campus. So the, the hobby is really all I'm spending money on and I just have a minimum wage job 10 hours a week on campus and I can't really afford to spend very much money on my hobby, let alone um, you know, setting up a website. But I'd really like to get a blog going and more information and possibly an online pipe and cigar club um, I guess depending on um, who's interested, pipes only or pipes and cigar, but it'll definitely have pipe smoking. But if any of you guys would be interested in um, donating or if you have like a business that you would want like ad space on, um, I'll probably have some options like that and that would pr and basically, I'd just be looking at money to sustain the monthly and yearly costs of the site. I'm not looking at making any profit off of it. i just like to have my own little place on the internet where I can um, hold, you know, this whole thing together. Um, and I'd also have a link to my YouTube and my Twitter and, you know, people on YouTube I follow that I think are... Um, very involved in this community and people on Twitter who I think are very involved. So um, I'm thinking if people decide to do donations to help out with the um, monthly costs, I'd um, put like a, I guess kind of like a shout out or a post to like um, dedicated members or um, people who have donated um, some kind of section so people know who, um, kind of, you know, who really believe in this thing. I, um, that's what's been going on lately. I've also been doing stuff in classes, writing my paper about technology. And I don't know about you guys, but I love it when my pipe goes out, because that means I'm actually enjoying it, you know, I'm not blowing through it. I think I've lit this pipe more often than any other pipe video I've had. <laughs> But, um, I guess before I make this as long as last time, um, I'd like to thank you all for watching again, and a, uh, I guess before anything happens, a thank you for all of you who will in the future support my, uh, site that I'm trying to put up. 
and um, follow me on Twitter at Justin P. Banco. Um, I, I really like talking to you guys, and that's the best place to talk to me. So, again, thanks for watching. Bye.